Hey everybody, and welcome to Bake It With Mod Posh. I'm Steve Piacenza. Halloween Zoom is all the rage this year, from families, to friends, to even schools. So Kathy is going to show you how to recycle cereal boxes, pizza boxes, even popsicle sticks into some fun, cool Halloween props. You're not gonna wanna miss this. Did you eat all this pizza? Kath, take it away. Thank you, Steve, and thank you guys so much for joining us today. I'm so excited to share this fun project with you. Just like always, we will be answering any questions live, but this project is so easy that even kids can do it. So I'm not really anticipating that you're gonna have a lot of questions, so why don't you go ahead and just tell us where you're from. I'm here in Los Angeles filming this, and I'd love to know where you all are from. So go ahead and drop a note and let us know. Um, we will also be doing a weekend watch party with this video, so if you miss anything, you can always catch it again on the weekends and of course in the Plaid archives. Today we are making some really fun photo props. And this idea came about because my kids are Zooming and we're all trying to figure out how we're gonna do these Zoom Halloween parties. And you know I love recycled crafts, so I thought let's put those two together. And I love how these turned out because they have a little bit of a vintage vibe. And what I mean by that is I was really trying to go with the idea of making a faux or fake melted plastic popcorn look. So if you know anything about those vintage Halloween or Christmas decorations, the ones that had the really cool texture to them, that is called melted plastic popcorn. And we're achieving that look just using tissue paper and Mod Podge. So anybody who loves that vintage look is going to love these. And I wanna just quickly walk you through all the different ones. We've got our Bride of Frankenstein, and I sized this one smaller so this fits my girl's head. So you can make these as big or as little as you want. And we're just using recycled cardboard from food packaging to create these. So I've got a little tiny witch's hat. I love this one. You can glue them to your stick straight or a little bit on an angle like this. I've got our kitty cat mask, so you can cut eyes to create a mask if you want. I've got the word boo. So if you just want something fun for a Halloween photo prop, you can just do a word. Of course, you can also look through it because of the two O's. And the one I'm gonna show you and walk you through today is my favorite. It's my Frankenstein. <laughs> so if you're doing a Zoom family party or kid party, this is a really fun project that you can make just using your old packaging. So let's talk about the packaging. First, I'm gonna tell you the no-nos. So this packaging has a lot of seams in it, so this isn't a great one to choose. You wanna choose something that's larger, more like a cereal box, and you're gonna not wanna put any of your drawing and, and your mask making where the seam is, because that's not gonna have as much strength. So you'd wanna be doing your work on the larger pieces of cardboard. You can use poster board for this too. And quite frankly, I find that this recycled material is a little bit stronger than just regular poster board. And pizza boxes are absolutely the best because you have this giant surface to work with. So I'm just gonna freehand today's Frankenstein. If you're not comfortable with freehanding, then um, I would look at clip art on the internet, look at other photo props even for inspiration. And so what you're gonna do is just working with this large surface here. And I, I do wanna point out that I like to do the design on the actual craft or the uh, non-printed side of the cardboard. We are gonna be painting it and adding it to it, but I just find that that has a little bit more um, solid surface. So for my Frankenstein, I know I want to have a big square head at the top, and I wanna have a couple of bolts, just like so. And then I wanna have a couple of spots for eyes. And of course we're gonna have some jaggedy hair. And you wanna go ahead and just draw in, here's some eyebrows, any of the parts where you want to add the tissue paper, okay? So you can kind of see the eyebrows and things. And of course, 
let's not forget all Frankensteins have their little scar there. So once you have your drawing drawn out, again, if you wanna do letters, this was just freehand, just freehanded it. If you wanna do um, you know, the cat mask, make sure you cut a spot for the eyes. For the cat mask, I actually held it up to my face and just kind of use my fingers to see where I would wanna put those um, eyeball cutouts. So once you have it done, you're gonna go ahead and cut out your design. And once the design is cut out, and remember, this is a great project for kids to do. This is, um, grown-ups can do it, everybody's doing Halloween Zooms, uh, Zoom cocktail parties, and Zooms in the classroom. So depending upon it, and again, if you love that old kind of cool vintage, that popcorn, melted plastic popcorn, this is the perfect little faux of that. So if you don't wanna do something like this, you wanna do decorations for the wall, this is a really fun technique, it's so easy. So the first thing that we're gonna do is paint our background. This is a real sloppy paint. We just wanna get some color down quickly. And we just base, basically wanna get this color down so that anywhere where you may have a few holes in your um, design, like in between some of the little tissues going down, you won't have the brown showing. So it's not a real fine painting, just a little sloppy paint here, that's all. So go ahead and get that color down quickly, just like so. And then I'm gonna go in and we will, oh yeah, I should note that too. Some of the cardboard will curl up a little bit while it is wet, but it will flatten as it dries. So then go in and just quickly, don't worry if your paints blend a little bit. Again, this is all getting tissue paper over it. You just wanna get a little bit of color down so that you don't have that craft color showing through. Go ahead and get that painted just like so. Let's add our eyebrows. So this is anywhere that I'm gonna be putting the black tissue paper. I want to go ahead and add that in. Now, if you are working with kids, it's really important to do this step because it almost becomes like a paint by number for them. So they will know, okay, anywhere that's green, let's put the green tissue. Go ahead and get those little bolts there. There we go. So we got a good base coat down now. And while that's drying, I'm going to show you about our handles. So the handles, remember this is designed for kids and grown-ups, is just done with some popsicle sticks. These are oversized ones. I'm using two per, and I've gone ahead and glued them in the center. And then it's really up to you how you wanna decorate them. So let's look at some of the ways. First of all, I yarn wrapped all of them. I glued the yarn down and then I just wrapped it down. And then on top of that, you can add any kind of decorations that you want. So we've got our orange rickrack there. This one, I kept just plain black for Frankenstein, but I added a googly eye at the bottom. So you can just add all sorts of things. On our cat mask here, we've got a big giant gem on the bottom. And for our bride of Frankenstein, we've got some fun, just silver sequin trim. If you caught the video, the other week where we were making over shoes, you will probably remember that I used some of those very same trims. And then on our witch's hat, I just did a little kind of corseted crisscross look, just like so. And it's very simple. You're just gonna glue them to the back of the piece once it's done. So let's see how we're drying over here. Pretty good. We're still got a little bit of a curl because we're not all the way dry yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and move on to our tissue paper. So this is just plain old tissue paper, nothing expensive about it. You'll just get colors that match whatever your design is, and you'll need to cut them into little squares, just like so. And we're going to attach those using gloss mod So we'll go ahead and pour a little bit of that out. And you probably will remember <laughs> doing something like this when you were in preschool. <laughs> so you're just gonna grab a pencil. I like using a pencil because if you get too much glue on the end of the pencil, you can just erase it and you will have it gone and you can start over and over again. 
So for a design like this, you want to start with the details first, and you're going to just wrap that little tissue paper square right around the end of the pencil. And actually either end works fine. You'll dip it right into your Mod Podge. He's a little bit, he's like, <laughs> not quite dry, but I'm gonna go ahead for sake of time. And you will put your first one down right on to your, I don't know, what do you, is this a, this is a photo prop. It's not technically a mask. So then again, let's show that. And these, these uh, squares are relatively all the same size. If you have um, confetti, tissue paper confetti from a party store, you can use that too. These I just cut, I didn't measure or anything. Then you'll go right up against it to add the next one down. Sometimes it wants to stick, there you go. If it wants to stick, you just do a little twist. Let's see if I can get one to want to stick. You know, of course, whenever you want something to happen, it doesn't happen, so let's see. Dip it in, right next to it, and then you just kind of hold it and give it a twist. So then you would go in next. I'm telling you, this is so easy. So please let us know where you're from because <laughs> I don't think anyone's gonna be asking about our tissue paper <laughs> squares. So you wanna go in and add the next one down, just like so. And then what you'll do is you'll grab your next color. Whenever you have a detail area like this, you wanna go in and add those details right next to it. Go ahead and add where you're gonna have the green. And that's what I was saying, how it's kind of like paint by number. So if it's for kids, oh, oh my goodness, look what a mess I am. Go ahead, just put that right back on there. It's all gonna dry clear, so it doesn't really matter if you get a little extra Mod Podge somewhere. And basically that's it, you guys. You're just gonna continue filling in the design until the whole entire prop is covered. And I wanna show you a couple other little tips because I know it's like this is about the easiest craft in the world. I like to, when I get to do my wide pieces, I start on the outer edge and you work your way in. So you get your piece down. And I'm working on wax paper. You will get a little bit of um, spillover of the Mod Podge and that's fine. Again, it's gonna dry clear. So you edge it out first and then you work your way in. Same deal here. So let's talk about the points. So wherever you have those details, you wanna do those detail areas first. So I've got my black here, and this is my Frankenstein points. So you wanna start where the points are. Go ahead and get that up. And then work your way down and around, and then just fill the whole thing in. And once it's filled in, you really will start to see some of those details come to life. So here's our scar. You can see where we've got the green in between the black there. We've got a little gray for our bolts and we've got our eyebrows. And now we are all ready for our Zoom party. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for joining us today. This is a really simple, fun craft that kids are gonna love to do. But honestly, if you're a fan of vintage Halloween and you love that melted plastic popcorn, I want you to really think about this craft idea and how you could turn this into wall decor or fun photo props for your own grown-up Zoom party. <laughs> so let's look at them one more time, you guys. We've got Frankenstein. You can do words, boo. You can do this for someone's birthday. You know, it's, it doesn't have to just be Halloween. These Zoom parties are gonna be happening hopefully not all year, but for quite a while. We've got a kitty cat mask, meow. And we've got our really cute witch's hat, which I love. And we have our fun Bride of Frankenstein. So you can size these for kids like this one or size it for yourself. Just make a little drawing of your face and you'll know what size to make it. Thanks you guys. We'll see you next Thursday with another Halloween project and catch us on their weekend watch parties. And you all have a great day.